Hey everybody, this is Dave uh, Shumway from the Critter Whisperer. I'm going to make a little video here of my laser conversion of a uh, Kirk DeKalb versatile trap. Uh, a couple of you guys asked for uh, some pictures or a video of it so I could explain uh, what it was I did. So I, uh, this is uh, Randy Hushauer's uh, laser trap conversion kit. Um, I purchased it and uh, with the intentions of uh, putting it on one of my traps and I rigged up a way of uh, putting it on Kirk DeKalb's trap. So here it is. Uh, here's the main control module and the wires come out of it and uh, I've got it guarded by some aluminum flat stock so that uh, animals can't reach through and tear my wiring all up. It's in a in a uh, wire loom so that helps it somewhat. Never had any problems with the uh, water with the control module. Everything seems to be pretty well sealed up. Uh, it's uh, uh, got some kind of epoxy in there that Randy put in it and seals it up really nicely all the electronic components. On the back side there you can there's a reflector where the beam um, bounces off of and comes back to the uh, control module. But anyways, the wire comes up here, comes to the, the solenoid on top, and uh, there's a connecting rod, comes over to a, a little uh, trigger rod that I fabricated up here. Um, I replaced, I took the wires out that go to the, uh, the uh, trigger and just mounted my control rod right to the... Um, the Connie uh, trigger there. So when uh, the trap gets triggered, the solenoid pulls back on the rod here and trips the trap. Won't get too uh, involved here, but so I've got it set up to uh, fire. I'll take a, I'll take a peek through it. See, there's no wire, no pan, nothing in there. Pretty cool setup. It makes a, a great trap even better, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Take a look on the back side here. In there, you can see the uh, control module, the back side of it, where the. Uh, and I'm not sure you're going to be able to see it or not here because uh, I've got some sunlight in back there. It's going to be kind of dark. So, but anyways, so that's the basic setup of it. I've got it set up to fire here. I'll grab my magnet. We have to uh, set the trap by using a magnet. You place it on the back side of the trap there, and there's uh, lights on the opposite side that blink when it's uh, set to go. So I'm going to have to watch it. So I won't be able to. There we go, it's flashing. Flashing green, it's all set. So, I've got the uh, sensor set up a little bit high there. The, they're about, uh, oh, they're about six or eight inches high so that, you know, mice or squirrels or whatever won't, uh, or not squirrels, but chipmunks won't set it off, get false, false trips on it. So, so all we do is Mr. Uh, Mr. Raccoon or Mr. Squirrel or whatever comes walking in and there he comes in and he gets some brick beam and the trap fires and that's that normally this door would come down too but like I said I've got it set so it wouldn't go down and want to get hurt uh, these are powered doors and uh, they come down pretty fast so there it is